Tech tuning in 21. I'm Chris Bettis from Fluent Mortgage Tech Fluently. All right, I call this the building of an ecosystem and I'm gonna show you L3, the perfect ecosystem as the method or what I did. And really what spurred this, and thank you truly for all the interest, the reach out, the request for Zooms, was from NAM National in Vegas, showing a bunch of people the ecosystem I had built and then from tech tuning in 21 and a lot of social media, just excitement, you all are asking, hey, what did I do, the whys and what's? So here's kind of L3, let's dig into it. So first off, why would you take the time, right? Why do I stay up till one, two, three, four in the morning on Monday nights to work on my ecosystem? Well, humbly, if you're new in the business, it's for money, right? It's so you can make more money. It's so you can close more deals. That's why you're gonna build an ecosystem. It's the reason you came in the industry, right? Finance is one of the highest paid professions in the United States based on skill set. One of the amazing things about what we do. Now please take it from an OG, right? Somebody who's been in the business for a while, almost 20 years at this point. If you're newer, of course, right from so you're like marketing, 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 maybe just a POS, maybe just an LOS light. Again, learn from what I've seen and the pain that I've seen. 2008, when the economy and the market did what we're about to walk into, we had an implode meter, literally a website that you would look at daily to show these people were closed. These people were shut down. These people aren't liquid anymore. These people... The government is literally shutting their doors for non-compliance. So again, if you want to be here five years, 10 years, 20 years from today, you got to do it compliantly. You got to do it right. Humbly, you need an LOS, not an LOS like a full LOS that can produce the compliance documents. And I know, I know you're going to challenge me and some people do this. No, 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 no. That's the lender, right? I'm the broker. I don't make decisions. The lender does. Well, let me give you a very real example had someone call just this week. I only have 800 bucks a month, filed bankruptcy last month, lost my job, and I've heard on the news that it's cheaper to buy than to rent. I wanna buy a home, zero money down, no job, bankruptcy. Can I do it for less than $800 per month? No, right? That's a no, and they get and they filled out an application, it's come in, I have the six pieces of identification, um, per ECOA, per Fair Credit Reporting Act, excuse me, I have to disclose, right? I have to give a decision. That's a no, I'm not gonna take the time to send that to a lender, that's an instantaneous no. You have to make a decision on that. You have to provide federal and state documents. That's why you need an LOS, okay? Fundamentally, if you wanna be in this biz for a while, LOS, that's the starting point. That's how you operate and do loans. Yeah, again, that's gonna help you close more business. That's gonna help you money. That's the fundamental. If you're gonna be in the game to make money, LOS, okay? And what's nice if you noticed, it also has a POS system in it. So landing pad, if that's the one you choose, most market share statistically on the market, I can show you in terms of for brokers, nobody's, Calix Point is the closest one now at this point, they were number one. They're slipping month after month after month after month consistently, uh, they keep gaining market share. So. Lending pad is my heir apparent, has been for a few years now, incredible. But you pick up both, POS and LOS, right? Now, after a minute, you'll run into this, right? Or some of you are already there. You have a good LOS system. You run a good business. You started to get referrals, right? It's working. Your business plan's working. But the problem is, you don't have time. You're making tons of money, and for everybody it's different, but typically, four, five, six closings a month, you're like, dude, I, I don't have life balance anymore. Not only did I come in this industry for money, but for control of my time, right? That's why uh, finance is amazing, especially if you own your own mortgage brokerage like I do. I want control over time, not just enough money. So, humbly, what I would argue is an ecosystem, right? That's how you're gonna gobble back time. And let me just share with you real quick my business model. My business model, I'm one loan officer with two support staff. So there's three of us total, literally on Main Street, USA. Literally my address is 1245 Main Street, Springfield, Oregon, the city of the Simpsons. Joe, broker American, right? One LO, three people, Main Street, USA. On average, the goal is just 16 loans a month. 
That's it, just 16 for the three of us. Four days a week. Life balance, right? One day to play really hard. One day to adult and then one day to recover. We're almost there already. The 16, we're, we're gonna surpass that this month. We do half days on Friday already. And right now we have every third Friday, like every Friday someone's taking it off. So one out of three times you're gonna have a Friday off. So we're getting there, right? But no matter what, so here, here's the gem for you. The number one request to market right now is digital end to end, right? The consumer doesn't want you. They don't want me. Literally, they want to be able to jump on their phone or computer and be able to do the whole thing in like five minutes digitally. Now, they want you in five seconds if they run into a challenge or have a question, but they don't really want you in terms of most of the process. So this is the litmus test. This is the metric. Everything I do in terms of ecosystem or business implementation, software, should I invest this many of this time, is does it advance digital end to end? That's the metric, okay? So, my humble opinion, when you hit that next stage, right, to free up time, time, you're making it, plenty of money, you're killing it in terms of transactions or closings, you need more efficiency. So, one thing you could do, hire more people. Standard mortgage broker, right? So, for the business that we do on volume wise, generally you see at least five to seven people to close that kind of volume effectively. I would argue that just use technology. We do the same thing with three people. I'll talk about how much we spend here in a bit. We just do it differently. Again, this is your metric, right? So fundamentally, we've got the LOS, becomes just an LOS, and then depending on your pain point, depending on your model, depending on your business, will dictate which one you pick up next, okay? So, for you, if your hardest thing is you get so many leads at this point organically and you're like, man, for me to check my four to five different lenders, it takes me 10 to 15 minutes, right? Well, in 15 minutes, we have new rates. You might as well start over. You're never going to be able to go or you're just baby retail and you just go to the same people over and over and over. No competitive advantage. You're not a broker then at that point. You're just baby mini core. Then lender price is your way. And you pick up a POS system as well. But talk about the best pricing engine for brokers. Bar none, this is the one. Uh, as we know, it used to be Lone Sifter, but you know, Optimal Blue, Black Knight, Great Entity. So if you're a banker at this point, you're going OB. If you're a broker, you're going lender price. Okay? Web page. So if you need to increase foot traffic, if you need a presence, if you need um, a way to generate more business, and to do it more efficiently, it's the website. This was a game changer for me. This took us from five days a week with lots of volume to four and a half days a week to take in every third Friday off was literally my website. So I don't know about you, but at this stage, I'm pretty good at selling. So if I can get the client on the phone, we win nine out of 10 times. Because of my website now, all I have to do is get them to touch my website and we win. That saved me that 15 minutes to 30 minute phone call to sell them. They go there and it's a quick little phone call, two to three minutes, let's go. And lastly is Flowify, the point of sale system, right? So that's the borrower portal that creates that online application. So instead of taking it over the phone, they can do it electronically on, on their own. So again, saving you time, making it efficient, when you're picking these, make sure they integrate. So this is the one gem as well. Whoever you're picking, even if you're just one that you like more, even if there's one that's cheaper, right? They got to talk. They got to play. And so each of these, these people all play together. All right? But again, this is the metric. So the way you pick the order, my opinion is, what is your biggest pain point? Personally, how are you going to get digital end to end and what saves you the most time? But again, fundamentally, most brokers, just so you know, end up with this four. Literally, they got a four-legged table of an LOS, a POS, a pricer, and a killer website. That could be game over for a lot of you. All right, now, some of us want excellence. So as an example, um, Truly Humbled, at one point, we're voted Mortgage Professional Year nationwide by you all, by our peers, uh, for the National Association of Mortgage Brokers. So thank you. That was like last year, right? We're gonna be even better. Super type A, like I have to be the absolute best. We have to become better every single day, 1% better. So for me, being voted the best 
isn't the best. We gotta do better, okay? So this is my current iteration of L3, the perfect ecosystem. Remember, perfect is for your business model. Your business model might only be these four. But remember, digital end to end. So as you implement these, I know it may seem overwhelming. When I showed my ecosystem to a couple people, they're like, oh, it's like eating an entire elephant. You just can't do it. One bite at a time. So based on your greatest pain point, based on something that you can say, man, I had this converse, same conversation all the time. I'm doing this task over and over and over. Can I automate that? Can I integrate that? Can I let technology do it for me or for my system or my processor, right? That's how we did it. So the ones that I would recommend adding, CRM, Contact Record Management System. There's tons of great ones out there. The reason we chose Django is it has the lion's share of Surefire top of mind, like an amazing marketing component, okay? And side note, the thing that does most heavy lifting is Salesforce, like the most robust CRM in the world, right? Salesforce is its fundamental core driver, and then you basically jungle then add its components that are mortgage specific and integrations mortgage specific. So Salesforce on steroids for mortgage, okay? Homebot, it's a really passive way to stay top of mind. Some people that are new school, if you don't want a CRM, will do only Homebot. You just drop your database in there, have it sift automatically to it, and you'll just pick up loans. It's like Zillow on steroids, customizable. You're gonna be driving your clients every single month with a value add to this, and they're gonna be reaching back out to you. On average, because of Homebot, I would say a loan a month, maybe every other month. Okay, but engagement, right? They're contacting me. They're not going to Brand X. Uh, Zoom, obviously, this is virtual, right? We're screen sharing at this point. We could do it live. If you don't know Zoom, I don't know where you've been, but in today's world, you gotta have it. What's sweet is we've actually integrated and built Zoom into everything that we do to make it really fast and easy. Bomb bomb, so engagement. Um, a few years ago, it was a rule or an act where basically you can't embed videos now and emails, right? So it's like, hey, uh, you know from social media, text is least engagement, pictures more engagement, videos the most, right? So same thing, emails, texting, somebody may read it, picture, more people look at it, video, most engagement. But the problem is it's a still. So with Bomb Bomb, literally it creates a GIF, just like you see on social media, convert your videos to GIFs, Bomb Bomb, easy, seamless, integrated, right? More people open it. Almost everybody uses that. Calendly, this saved us 15 minutes a day, every day. Doesn't sound like a lot, but 15, 15, 15, right? An hour, an hour, an hour. That's how you get a half day off on Fridays. That's how you take Fridays off, or that's how you do more loans, right? That's how you save time. That's how you become even better. A virtual automated calendar system. So literally, uh, we push a button in Django, automatically shoots the email, automatically sends the invite, automatically checks it against my Outlook, automatically does it in that predefined period of time based on what it is, automatically sends in the Zoom link, automatically throws it in mine, automatically opens it up, and automatically sends a reminder. All stuff you'd usually do. Endorsements, the number one easiest, most automated way to get surveys in market. Um, that's how a little one LO three person shop has gotten over 300 reviews in just three years. Five star plus. The endorsement's incredible. Stitched together. Mortgage Coach. I'm not sure what you're using for presentation software, but if you do a lot of refinances, if you deal with high end net worth people, if you do multifamily, if you do anything complex and you want to show return on investment, actually analyze it, take it to a professional level. The best they've been around forever in terms of presentation materials and analysis. Obviously lenders, we're building it actively lenders and all these, that's the game over, right? We're literally you push a button, it's in their system. As soon as it becomes approved, all conditions are approved and pulled into your CRM and then it's disseminated automatically to escrow title borrower. I'm, I'm excited, like we're close, we're starting to stitch those together. Um, I'm gonna jump, so then to Zapier, Anything that's not organically set up, anything that your vendors or your software companies can't stitch already, 
you can manually do it yourself as Zapier. So that's a way that you can build integrations where they're not quite there yet. So when your path is broken a little, that's how you fill it in, okay? And then lastly, because we're a Mac people, how can we use Mac more? How can we make phone calls directly out of it? How do we save time? Drop, not Dropbox, but um, airdropping in the ecosystem here locally. Using Siri, we're actively looking um, Siri integrations, it's advanced functionality. So when you want to start doing stuff, you just start talking to your computer and you do it. So that's, that's like the next level, right? So that's L3. That's our perfect ecosystem. Lastly, freedom. And this is really where I'm at personally in life, right? I make plenty of money. We give lots of stuff away and we do a lot of good and are trying to change the world. I work four and a half days at the most. Every third week, I take a Friday off. I do pull a long Monday, but that's pretty good in our industry, right? And it'll get better. We've been voted number one in the United States for the entire year. Excellence, I'd say I could probably check mark that box off humbly. Freedom, I'm at this stage, and hopefully you are where within five years, I wanna be done, completely independent where I can choose to be in here or not, right? Put a completely passive income. Do what I did at every other place in every other business. Remember, Fluent's only been open three years. The business before I was at, I got it automated and dialed so much that all I did was speak and teach three times a week. All I did was my passion through my back. Raise the industry, fight on your behalf, right? That's it. And every now and again, come in the office when they couldn't figure something out, be like, it's cool, it's a Rubik's Cube, it's tough, you can't quite figure it out, boom, 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 boom. Here it is solved, right? So sort of dream thing. That's where we're gonna get to. We're gonna raise our standard through ecosystem. We're gonna build it so it's completely digital end to end. I'm gonna make sure my staff makes more money than even in the industry. They have better life balance and only work four days a week. And I'm gonna get myself complete and absolute freedom. This is what you're basically doing. This is the only advantage bankers have. They have one lane and it's super smooth, right? That one freeway lane is really smooth. We're clunky. We have all these different software systems and paths and wholesale lenders and none of them talk. So what I would argue is even though it takes years to build this system on a freeway, take the time to stitch all your pieces together. It will be worth it. L3, the perfect ecosystem. This is how we built it together, literally, starting with the website and you can see how everything is just stitched and flowing together again. Zapier is the component where if something's not quite flowing or some little things needed, you stitch them. But at this point, website goes to price or website goes to LOS. Pricer goes to pretty much everything. Our POS system talks to website, talks to LOS, talks to pricer, talks to CRM, talks to e-endorsements, right? Like, oh man, our CRM talks to everything. You literally have Jungle can do almost anything out of that dashboard. Um, the endorsements are automated. HomeBot, it just flows into and does its thing automatically. Mortgage Coach is audit automated out of Jungle, but I use that rarely because we have some amazing tools directly in Lender Homepage. Don't even use that really much except for high-end people. Calendly's money, just click a button out of Jungle. Those two are click connected. Zoom's done through here, so we use it every single day. I was on Zoom calls today. Bomb bomb sick. Again, that'll help your engagement. Max Siri, just automation, and then this, when this happens, it's just game over, right? All right, lastly, if you visually wanna see an example of it, just go to my website, fluentmtg.com. Again, fluent, I'm fluent tech and mortgage, mtg, short for mortgage.com. So literally from my website, you're gonna see a template for what the best the best have done in the nation, right? Number one retail lender, number one wholesale lender, Number one VA lender, number one mortgage broker. Everybody, even though the colors don't match and the words exactly, the exact same template. I simply just copied it and made it mine. Very clean, give them some tools and tech. Very clear call to actions. Below that, like everyone shops, you're gonna have to have proof of performance. Let them know why they should use you. Let them know why they should be confident saying Fluent Mortgage or Chris Bettis number one in the world, highest certified in Oregon, finished pretty strong with the lender, you know, top 1%. Um, and then 
we're the certified instructor in the state of Oregon for OAR for realtors. So below that, we've got our endorsements that shows just a scrolling 325 endorsements and the actual language third party verified. So again, if I can get someone to touch my website, confidence, game over, they go digital in, and then it just kind of flows through. Application, docs automated, they come in, they've already designed it, I just have to execute. All right, guys, Chris Bettis from Fluent Mortgage. I've hoped you enjoyed seeing the developing of your ecosystem, why build an ecosystem, and L3, the perfect ecosystem. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, but most of all, please build your own ecosystem and tune your tech through to 2021.